Yo, what's going on YouTube and welcome back to this twin series and today is a very very special episode So basically I didn't have a video idea today and I was like, you know what? Let's just type in on Google Minnesota twins news and what comes up the man himself Williams Ostadillo in the Venezuelan League and let's talk about it. So I Honestly, I, I've mentioned it in a couple other videos and I will mention it uh, you know in in the big twin starting lineup video that I'm gonna do either later this week or next week or or at some point in the next coming weeks I did not put Williams Ostadillo in the starting lineup I said Mitch Garver would beat him out for one reason in particular and that was because Williams Ostadillo came up at the end of last season he, t he I mean he tore it up he was doing very well but I just didn't think he would have the experience and basically just I thought they'd put Garver in there for more of a leadership role, I guess, and, and he's not bad either. So we'll cover his stats. We'll cover Jason Castro's stats. Kind of a joke, to be honest. And then William Ostadillo. Honestly, he could be making his start in 2019. So let's go over uh, what he has done in the Venezuelan League. So the Venezuelan League happens during the winter uh, in Venezuela. That's where he's from. And... He's tore it up there. He has been absolutely lighting it up in Venezuela. Let's just go over this. 55 games played. All right. So, I mean, that's about twice as many as he played in the majors last year. He started in AAA in Rochester, moved up to the Twins at the end of the season. Um, he had 30 at-bats, or 30 games played in the majors, 55 in the Venezuelan League. Now, he has 29 runs, 67 hits, Nine doubles, a triple, eight home runs, 41 RBIs, three stolen bases, 11 walks, four strikeouts. This man has 212 at-bats, not played appearances, at-bats, and has four strikeouts. That's Mookie Betts, probably better than Mookie Betts numbers. Holy cow. I, I get it. It's the Venezuela League, but we'll cover it comparing him to his major league stats. So, he, I mean, those are great stats. But the on-base percentage, 316. The OBP, 360. His slugging, almost 500. His OPS, 841. That is incredible. And and this man, I, he's been in the league um, for just about 10 years. He's 27. This kid was in the league at 17 years old. He is turning 27, or he just did. And this kid is, I mean, he's not young. He's like... He's in his prime right now. Let's just say that. So, he's tearing it up in Venezuela. And now let's compare him to his regular season stats in the majors. He played 30 games. Didn't have 100 plate appearances. Didn't have 100 at-bats. So, I mean, comparatively, yeah, he's about under half. Uh, he had 9 runs, 33 hits in under half as many at-bats. So, that's better. 4 doubles. 1 triple. Three home runs, 21 RBIs. He almost had an RBI per game. He played in 30 games and had 21 RBIs. And he was down in, like, the eighth spot. Wow. Uh, and then he had two walks and three strikeouts. Again, 30 games, three strikeouts in the majors. Incredible. And he's been in the majors before. Or, no, he has not. Never mind. I take that back. He has never been in the majors before. He was in the farm system in Arizona, Atlanta, and Philly. For quite a while but the twins gave him the opportunity and man is he showed them uh, his batting average was 355 with a 371 on base percentage 516 slugging 887 OPS so this guy again teared it up last season in the majors in his first 30 games I mean he was only up there for a month you know with the call-ups and everything but did he tear it up for a struggling twins team he lit it up he was doing fantastic so I was like, okay, this guy, he's not going to start. There's no way he's going to start. You know, they got Garver as a leader. He's been there before. He's not bad. Let's go compare the stats. L let's go Jason Castro first because he got injured last year. He was our starter for a little while. Ni he only played 19 games. Um, and then the year before, he played 110. But this guy struggled. I mean, he was not very good. This is this is like a Morrison situation right here uh, so he's 31 he'll be 32 this year he's getting old 
send him to the Yankees or something, I guess. I don't know. The Yankees might want him, but uh, that's a joke, by the way. Uh, so here we go. 2017. He played 110 games, 400 at-bats. He had 49 runs, 86 hits, 22 doubles, 10 home runs, 47 RBIs, 45 walks, 108 strikeouts. It's not good. Uh, 242 average with a 333 OBP. His slugging was 388, and his OPS was 720. His OPS isn't bad. His slugging, not very good. But his OBP, that's good. I mean, it's not bad. And Jason Castro was a catcher, not a hitter. He was a good catcher. Don't get me wrong on that. That is why we got him in Minnesota was to catch, not to hit. Uh, he always batted ninth. Um, but he wasn't bad at catching. He just, comparatively, he's not good. Especially, like, a bat. You need a bat. And, you know, there's tons of catchers in the league that have a bat. And to just be a defensive catcher, you're getting put on the back burner. So, he's better than Jason Castro. Hitting-wise, I mean, fielding, even if he's a little bit worse, the hitting stats can make up for it. And now Mitch Garver. This is the guy who I thought would be starting this season. Honestly, he still could. But with the numbers in Venezuela and with the numbers Ostadillo had last season, honestly, I don't see it happening. Uh, Ostadillo should be your new Minnesota Twins starting catcher. So here we go. Castro's also been on the Twins for two years. Uh, 26 and 27, so he's just a year older than Asadillo. And he played in 23 games in his first year. Five runs, nine hits, one double, three triples, no home runs, three RBIs, six walks, 15 strikeouts, under 200 average at 196, OBP of 288, slugging 348, and OBP or OPS of 636. So again, not a good season. He only played in 23 games, though. However... However, this is a big however. 23 games, very comparatively to the 30 games Ossadillo played. And once again, Castro only played in 19, so I, I don't even want to count him. But for Garver to start out uh, 19 or 23 games and only bat 196, 288, 15 strikeouts, no home runs. And you look at Ossadillo in his first 30 games, so seven games. I don't think it makes... 200 uh, 175 points difference in seven games so again three home runs four strikeouts 319 average 365 uh, on base percentage this guy lit it up comparatively to mitch garver's first season now mitch garver played in the next season he was our main catcher 102 games 35 or excuse me 335 plate appearances 302 at bats 38 runs 81 hits, 19 doubles, 2 triples, 7 home runs, 45 RBIs, 29 walks, 72 strikeouts, 268 batting average, 335 OBP, slugging 414, and an OPS of 749. Not bad numbers. Again, better than Castro. He's a hitter. He's not bad defensively, but he's more of a hitter. And that's why they were a good platoon. You know, you have Castro to go in for the defensive games when there's maybe a pitching matchup or something. Uh, and it would be a low scoring game and then you put Garver in there when it's just going to be a lighting it up uh, at the plate but again just 102 games 19 doubles 7 home runs 45 RBIs 72 strikeouts and then obviously the averages William Castillo or sorry <laughs> Castillo Ostadillo 30 games 33 hits 4 doubles 3 home runs 21 RBIs in less than a third of the games. He is already twice. Hold on. Let me say that again. In a third of the games that Ostadillo has played, he has half as many RBIs. And he is, let's see, what is 40, 72. Is it 72 strikeouts? 72 strikeouts in 100 games compared to four strikeouts in 30 hmm he doesn't strike out very much so that's a big plus as well and then continuing on i just don't see like this cat this kid ostadillo has like i said the entire video lit it up and just been phenomenal 
Uh, I don't see how they can keep him off the bench at this point. Just comparing the stats hand in hand from where uh, Garver was to where Ossadillo was and, you know, expecting this breakout season, there is just no way that you can keep Ossadillo off the bench. And the reason I made this video is because when you typed in Ossadillo on uh, the Twins or just any Twins news, the whole thing comes up of him hitting a game-winning home run last night in uh, Venezuela. And he did a little shimmy as he was he was on one knee. It was a great video. Go check it out as well. But this kid, I have a lot of confidence in him. Again, I could be a little skeptical. Uh, you know, he had a breakout season. How is he going to do this season? But very, very confident. And this kid it, it should be a very, you know, he could be a prospect, a star the next coming years. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. Uh, let me know what you guys think about this kid, Ostadillo. Is he going to be the kid everybody is hoping for this season, or is he going to bust? Uh, let me know down in the comments below. Also, let me know about, you know, other Twins news that's going on. Make sure to follow me on Twitter at Brent underscore Bartels for more Twins news. And that is all I got for you today. Make sure to come back tomorrow for more Twins news. We will see you then.